Howdy y'all and welcome back. This video is going to be long and wordy. If you want to see the finished product, just go check out my reels. I shared one earlier today of the finished product. So, all right. My longtime viewers and personal friends know that earlier this summer, I got recertified to be a personal trainer, which is a thing that I did for a living from 2008 until about 2011 when I started my own business and went fully self-employed, which I basically was fully self-employed up until starting this job earlier this summer. Before I became a personal trainer, going back to 1999, I was a body worker, which is an elitist way of saying massage therapist. <laughs> so that is my real, like that is what I'm actually trained to do. That's what I really am. And as it were, right after, like two weeks after I got hired at my gym of choice, they launched a stretch program. So it is a service that members can buy from personal trainers. And when they announced this, I had some questions and I was like, well, can I get away with doing this? And can I do that? And so basically I'm a massage therapist again, kind of, but not really, but kind of, mostly. And that is what I do now. So if you've been wondering or whatever, like, that's what I'm up to. Um, and the reason that that pertains to this video is the other day, one of my favorite clients asked me after our session, she was like, what do you do for self-care? I thought about it for a second. And I was like, gun stuff. <laughs> right? I don't think that was the kind of self-care she was referring to, but that's my me time. Like, this is what I do. And today was a great example of that. I spent about five or six hours, I don't know, I lost track, working on getting this old vintage set of Ajax Sambar Stag Grips fitted to my Smith & Wesson Model 65. Regular viewers will be familiar with that 65, but just to catch new viewers up on the story, if you haven't seen that video, I picked this thing up back in like 2009 or maybe 2010 at a local gun shop, and it was in a box of other, like it was a whole box full of Model 65s, and they were all just loose, banging around on each other. And these were all, I believe, from Huntsville, the, the Texas State Prison, but they, they were they're marked Texas Department of Corrections, so they came from somewhere. They're guard guns, and they were beat to shit. I wish I had a better quality photo, uh, but I got this that looks like it was taken with a potato. <laughs> but it gives you an idea. It was rough. And in that picture, you see a set of wood stocks. They're like the big target stocks. They were all loose, and there were no two sides that matched. So, like, color-wise, they were all way off and really chewed up and in bad shape. And I don't know that those are actually what came on these guns, but they were all fitted with that Hogue rubber grip, which has finger grooves, and I'm not a big fan. And they're kind of sticky, and I don't know. So, for me... Old Smith & Wessons really need the factory stocks, like the ones they were born with. And obviously, I don't have those for this gun. The next coolest thing, and arguably even cooler, are proper stag grips. And so, happy birthday to me. I treated myself <laughs> to a set of proper sandbar stag grips for this guy and they were way oversized and not matched to each other very well so that is how this turned into like a five hour long project they were way uh the back strap wasn't too bad the front hung out about a like a little over an eighth of an inch i mean it was way out there and the 
hump right here was different on both sides. It's still different, but it was like really, really different. It took a lot of sanding and fitting and sanding and fitting. This is one of those things you measure twice, cut once, right? So you have to just go a little bit at a time and go very slowly because if you remove too much material, you can't put it back on. So they didn't come out perfect, but for my first time doing a set, I can live with them and they're just super cool and I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you're not gonna have like the original factories, then next best thing. So I am happy this is <laughs> what I do to give myself happiness. And it's weird because I'm using my hands, which I do all week long at work, and my back hurts, and I'm not rested at all. <laughs> I'm a little fatigued, actually. But this is my version of self-care, so there you go. And that's really all I got for this one, y'all. I'll send you out to a super-duper-duper duper shortened version of my afternoon over a little Eric Lang. Thank you, buddy. Until next time, be easy, y'all.